Meow. How's it going, everyone? My name is Swingpoint, and this is a game called Moirai. It is an experimental indie game. I don't know if it's a horror game. I don't really know what to expect from it. All I know is that it's supposed to be unique. We have all these lovely townsfolk here, and to give you an idea as to what's going to happen is... The townsfolk tell you that a woman named Julia has gone missing. You venture out to the cave just beyond the village looking for her. You're given a knife to protect yourself. What you find may surprise you. And it says Moirai is an experimental game. That's all I got. So let's start talking to people and I don't want to talk to the mom, I want to talk to the kid. I want to talk to the kid. Talk to the boy. Here we go. You need to stay close to mama, otherwise she'll wait. I've run off. That's all he has to say. What about you? Did you hear about the boy? Julia lost her son in the cave shortly after her husband died. Poor Julia. I would never let my boys out of my sight. And they all really only have one thing to say, it seems. Anyway, we got a couple of houses. We got a priest and a little girl down there, so maybe he's gonna give me the knife. My prayers go out to poor Julia. It's been a year since her husband has passed. She hasn't been seen all day. I imagine she's grieving. Do you mind visiting her at her home? It's the house to the right as you leave town. I thought Julia was in a- Oh, I, I don't know if she's in a cave yet. You can't I I fix stupid. stupid. Okay, Julia, Julia, Julia. Sometimes daddy lets us pat the sheep on the head. Oh, they're so soft. <laughs> okay, well, we gotta find Julia. And, you know, I actually kind of went to enter this house first. Hello? Am I in here? Oh, these beds don't look comfortable at all. <laughs> I really like the music that's playing in the background. It took me a while to comment on that, but yeah, the music's really cool. What's this? There's a picture on the shelf of a wife and a husband and a young boy. I wonder where they are. Probably in the cave. That's my guess. It's probably Julia, probably in the cave. Wouldn't that make sense to you? Did you know that today is National Respect Canada Day? Anyway, my uncle and dad are out chopping wood to keep us warm for the winter. They should be home soon. For the winter? You guys are stocking up this early? Look at it! It looks beautiful outside! Okay, I don't anticipate this game to be very long either. But, let's go to the farm. Which is apparently this way. Oh, would you look at this? Oh, there's the barn. Let's go. What does it say? Farm. <laughs> okay. So how are you doing today? Leave a comment down below on how you're doing. I know that there's not a whole lot going on in this game yet. I'm guessing it's just going to have a ridiculous ending. And I'm really excited to see what that has. To the cave. This game's been out for seven months, I think. Uh, uh. But it hasn't really gotten that much attention. I was looking around on Game Jolt and it has a wonderful, wonderful rating. So I was just interested to check it out. Picked up the lantern on the stump. I want to talk to the lumberjack. My brother and I were chopping wood when we heard moans coming from the cave. My brother went in to investigate. He should have been back by now. I'm worried. Can you check on him? There's a lantern behind you on that stump. What about you? Why don't you check on him? You're the worst brother ever. Dude, look at my hand. I have a cool looking hand. <laughs> this is the cave where Julia is, right? What's up, bro? Hey, you. Come here. What's up, bro? Did my brother send you? Bless him. <laughs> I think they're twins. <laughs> the moans are coming from further down. I'd go in, but my sight's no good. Get some glasses. You should take this knife. Who knows? You may need it. Oh, yeah. Here's that knife that I was told about that I'm going to be able to swing it at people with. Except none of these butt... Where'd my game go? Where'd my game go? Where'd my game go? Meow. Okay. I think I'm good. I think I'm good. I, pr I got a little button happy because I was trying to stab and I d it didn't work. Anyway, let's just go. Maybe I just walk into stuff and poke it, huh? Huh? Oh, this cave's creeping me out, and the controls are really weird. Oh god, it's really hard to turn. Dead end? Oh, whoa, wait, what? I thought I was at a dead end, how do I keep going? Oh, it just looks like a dead end, okay. <laughs> ah, what are you? Ah, bones? Look at bones. Someone must have died here. The bones look as though they're a child. Oh no. Mm, look in the hole, I'm looking in the hole. What's in the hole? I can see something shiny in the hole. It's just out of my reach in the hole. Can I grab it in the hole? Okay, well, let's go get something. To grab something out of the hole. That makes sense, right? Something to grab it. If it's just out of your reach, they would not tell me it's just out of my reach unless they were going to give me some sort of option to nab it with my nabity fingers. This game kind of reminds me of... Oh, what's... You hear that? Someone just cried. Who's crying? Hey! No crying! Who's crying? Oh! God! Ah! What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Huh? Seriously, what are you doing here? You little rat? Okay, no, seriously, what are you doing here? The farmer approaches. 
He does not look good. He looks a little messed up. Did you just kill somebody? I heard moans. What have you done? I sacrificed my little goat. I'm too sad for that. Poor Julia. I'm really sorry. What? Why do you have a knife? To sacrifice goats in my rituals. <laughs> Duh. Why do you have blood on your overalls? Because I just sacrificed the goat. Because I like sacrificing goats. You like doing it? Oh. oh, God. What do I do? Let them pass? All right. I'll let you go. Uh. Uh, was that a bad choice? Where'd he go? He's gone. He's gone. Oh god. Should I have attacked him? Should I have hurt him? Maybe. Maybe? Why were you sacrificing goats? Where's the goat? I just see rats. I just see lots of rats. This is an experimental game, and I don't get what's going on yet. Really? Don't <laughs> Who's crying? I hear you crying again. I can't turn this way. I got... Ah, I pressed the wrong button again. Meow. I can't turn like this way. I have to completely rotate my body and then go that way. So moving's a little tough. But let's continue up. Oh. Hey, goat man. Hey, goat man. Did you do this? Oh, please help me. I'm in a lot of pain. I came here to end my life. My name's Julia, and I want to see my child and husband in heaven. My husband was a miner in these caves. He spent days mining for gold, and then one day he found something. He found a golden nugget. I thought we could retire and be comfortable for the rest of our lives. One golden nugget? Oh my, you can't retire off of that, can you? But he didn't trust me. He buried the golden nugget to spite me. Then he disappeared. Everyone in the town heard about our good fortune. <clears throat> Excuse me. They thought I was rich. I was so ashamed that I couldn't tell them the truth. One day my son wandered into the cave. He wanted to find his daddy. He wanted to make everything better. But he never came out of the cave. I went to look for him, but I couldn't find him. Now it's too late. Now I have nobody. Will you help me? Will you help me end my life? Uh, <laughs> yes, close your eyes. No, I'm going to go get help. I'm going to get help. I'm going to get help. You're in a bad mindset right now. I'm going to help. And leave me, you coward! Oh, the women's spurts. Oh, yucky. Oh, God. Oh, God. I have blood on me. Oh, God. Wait, I don't want to kill you. I don't want to kill you. Should I kill you? I can't do it anymore. Oh, God. So you get choices. So would the game have ended right there if I stabbed her? I'm going to get help. Oh, she's going to be dead by the time I get to her. Look at her. Unless she's just bleeding a lot and she didn't hit any organs. But she doesn't look that great. Oh, right now I look like the killer. Son of a bitch. Oh, gosh. Don't, don't, oh. I'm gonna walk out. Mr. Lumberjack's gonna be like, What do you do? Ah! Yes, sir. Farmer, sir, where did your blood go? Farmer. A farmer approaches. Why do you have blood on your overalls? Uh. I, uh. Oh, I can type. Um. Um. Uh. Julia is hurt. Why do you have a knife? I like to sacrifice goats. Oh wait, I have a knife because a lumberjack gave it to me. I heard moans, what have you done? Why are you asking me all the same questions, bro? I sacrificed a goat. Let me see what will happen to you. What? And that is where the story shall end. What? At least for now. What? It is up to the next player of this game to choose your fate. Just as you for the previous player. What? That is really cool! Is that real though? Enter email address, uh, duh. You will be emailed about your fate. Oh, that was really interesting, huh? So that game, I wonder how my name's gonna be put into it though. That's really weird. What, what, what point could I be, could Swing Point be in there? Huh. Well, that was really cool. Game was, you know, is what it is. You just kind of walk around and talk to people, but the idea that the players build the game, I think is something that's really unique. It's definitely the experimental game part of the equation that they described in the description. <laughs> but anyway, that's all we have time for today, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it. Please leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more unique games like this. I thought this was pretty cool, and I love playing things that kind of just make you go, huh, after you're done playing it. But other than that, I hope you're having a wonderful day, and I will see you in the next episode. Meow. Goodbye! No. Oh. No. Stop watching this destroy. Stop. Video while you still can.